Thanks, Mark. Since 6 o'clock, more than 30,000 people have gotten their power back. However, that still leaves around 62,000 in the dark. The biggest concentration of outages is in the Kalamazoo County area, where 19,000 customers are still without power. Both Kent and Muskegon counties continue to have more than 10,000 buildings without power. Consumers Energy says that most of the power should be back on by Wednesday, although some homes won't have any juice until Thursday. Living without electricity is a major inconvenience for any of us, but for some, no power can be a matter of life and death. 24-Hour News 8's Tony Taliavia is live in Kentwood now with one of the hardest-hit neighborhoods in Kent County. Tony? Good evening to you, Sue. We have seen damage like this all around this neighborhood. We have seen trees down on homes, a tree across a roadway. As you can probably tell, there is no electricity in this neighborhood. And as that drags on for hours, possibly days, some people living here have serious medical problems. If I don't have it, I'll just stop breathing. Colleen Lehman is talking about her nebulizer. She has a place to plug it in now, thanks to a shelter set up by the American Red Cross. But for hours today, Lehman was without the electricity she needs after the storm swept through her Kentwood neighborhood. Headed for the house, screaming, <laughs> and heard just the most oddest noise I ever heard, like bass or something crackle, pop, and then the next thing I know, I look out, and my tree is on my car, and my evergreens in the front yard, and the neighbor's tree is all over their house, and it's just total chaos. No electricity also meant no air conditioning, causing layman's multiple sclerosis to flare up. So she made a call to the Red Cross. The Greater Grand Rapids Chapter's Emergency Services Director says his office took 45 to 50 calls today, specifically about medical issues. The Red Cross can't step in and help every single person who's lost power, but for those people who have medical needs, who need to have electricity to be safe, to be okay, um, that's, that's where Red Cross can step in and provide some help. Any shelter environment is going to be on cots, pillows, and blankets, so it's not super comfortable, but again, it's a place you can be safe and a place you can access some electricity. And for that, Lehman says she's grateful. Very grateful. The Red Cross chapters in both Grand Rapids and Holland have set up shelters for people who need electricity because of their medical issues. If someone you know is in need of that, you can call the Grand Rapids chapter at 616-456-8661 or the Holland chapter at 616-396-6545. One piece of good news to pass along that we've seen in this neighborhood in the last hour, a couple blocks away to our south, we have seen street lights start to come back on. So many people in this neighborhood hope that is something that will extend to them as soon as possible. Live in Kentwood, Tony Taliavia, 24-Hour News 8.